The location of the licenses of the 17 political parties was contained in the notice signed and issued by the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Jane Mensa, on Monday, November 14, 2022. According to the Electoral Commission, the cancellation is in accordance with Section 15, Plus 3C of the Political Parties Law 2000 Act 574, and it takes effect from November 1, 2022. The Director of Electoral Services at the Electoral Commission, Dr. Serebo Kweku, has told TV3 the 17 political parties can only reapply with new names. The law says they are cancelled. So if you are applying, then you are coming in anew because the party doesn't exist again. So if you want to come there, you are coming as a new person or a new party. The Electoral Commission, in a notice on early October this year, gave the 17 political parties up to October 20 to show proof why their registration should not be cancelled under the Political Parties Act of 2000, Act 574. Meanwhile, the EC is yet to take a decision on the nine out of 11 qualified parties who still have pending issues. We were having 28 and we have cancelled 17. That would leave you with 11. Now I'm saying out of the 11, two of them don't have any problem with their offices. Okay. And with nine of them have issues with their offices. Okay. So those we are here to take decision on are nine. And those who have no problem at all are two. That would make it 11. But let me also add that we have 15 new part, uh, people, uh, uh, parties that are also in the process. They have applied. We have issued that five provisional certificates. So depending on what they do. So it is possible that out of the nine, some of them will go away and add to the 17. And out of the new ones, some of them will also come in. So we will not be able to put figure on how many parties will be left. Most of the disqualified parties have raised concerns about operating virtually. But Dr. Srebo Kwaku disagrees. We've gotten to a point that we have been practicing this democracy for 30 years. But some of the parties continue to be where they are. They are refusing to grow. So then there's the need for us to sanitize the system. Because if you say you want to be a political party in a democratic regime, then you should be respecting the laws of the country. Godwin Asiriba, TV3 News, Accra.